everyone and welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Angela Andrew and today we're going to talk about enhancing animal eyes. Now I know a lot of you are sticking close to home these days and whether you have access to a local zoo or you're photographing wildlife in your own yard, chances are you've gotten in and zoomed in and tried to enhance their eyes only to find that the automated AI tools in Luminar AI are disabled for most animals. And I know that's a little bit frustrating for some of you, so I'm gonna go in and show you how to go ahead and make those animal eyes really pop today. And hopefully that gives you a tool to have some fun with. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. All right, you guys should be seeing my Luminar. I wanna say hello to Russ, Pat, Julie, Brett. So glad you guys could all join us today. All right, so we have this beautiful big cat up on the screen. And this is my after image. Let me go ahead and show you the before. Here's the before image. You can see it's a little bit flat and the eyes, while gorgeous, really don't stand out. Here's what I was able to do with the combination of a template and a couple of local masking tricks inside the program. So what I'm going to do first to get started is go over to my edit tab and I'm going to go to my history and go back to my original and walk you through the entire edit. So the first thing we're going to do is go to templates and I like to always start with the for this photo take a look what's available up here. And for an image like this, I thought the Savannah category was gonna be spot on. And I went ahead and went with warming sun, which really fit this image well. Already that's a tremendous improvement and I really like the results. So let's take a look at the before and the after. Very, very nice. But I think we can do a little bit better to bring out some of those details in the big cat's eyes. So let's go ahead and go over to our edit tool and into our essentials. And let's first start with our structure AI. And I wanna add structure because I wanna add a little bit of detail overall globally to the entire image. So let's go ahead and pull that amount up and add some detail to the whole thing. Now that looks really good. That's brought out a lot of detail in the fur, a lot of that mid-tone contrast. We can turn that off and then turn it back on again to see where we've come. It's looking great. Now let's go ahead and go down to our details tool. You can see that this um, that the template we used already applied a little bit of sharpening and a little bit of small details. And I added that structure to compensate for the fact that we're gonna go ahead and zero out all of these settings here in details to start. And then we're gonna really use this to focus in on just the eyes and apply those changes locally. So let's go ahead and start by zooming in to the face. And let's let that load up there for a second. I'll give it a second to render. All right, almost there, hopefully, there we go. All right, let's go ahead, I'm gonna pull up those small details quite a bit, you can see all of those little details there in the eyes came out. And right now these changes are affecting the image globally, meaning they're affecting the entire image, but I want you to focus right now just on the eyes. And I'll go ahead and pull up some of the medium details, bring out some more detail there, and then maybe even a little bit of the large, we don't need too much there. So let's go ahead and turn that off and then back on again, and you can see what a huge difference that just made to the eyes. Now what we wanna do is use our masking brush and apply that to the eyes only. So I'm gonna go here to paint a mask, and grab my brush, and I'm gonna make my brush nice and small by using the bracket keys on my keyboard, and then I'm gonna brush that in just over his eyes so we get that effect right where we want it. All right. All right, that's looking great. So now we've applied those details just to the cat's eyes. Let's go ahead and turn off our mask and turn that tool off and back on. And you can see that's already made a huge difference and it looks beautiful. But we can take this a little bit further. What I wanna do is I'm gonna activate this brush again and I'm gonna go to the ellipses tool here and I'm gonna copy my mask. Now I'm gonna go to local masking and I'm going to go to add and basic and I'm gonna to go to the ellipses on this one here and I'm gonna to paste my mask here. And what that does is apply my mask that I had just created onto this tool as well. So anything I do now on this tool will be automatically done just to the eyes. So from here, I wanna pull up those shadows a little bit because they're a little bit hidden. They're under the eyelids, there we go. And maybe even pull up our exposure just a tiny bit. I don't wanna make them look too crazy. It can, be a, it can be easy to go overboard here. We can lighten them up a lot, but then he starts looking a little uh, iffy there. So let's go ahead and pull that back. We just wanna open up some of those shadows and really make the eyes glow, but not so much that he starts looking crazy. So we can maybe even back off those shadows a little bit. If we wanted to, we could add a little bit more structure 
and I think that looks beautiful. So now we can turn that local mask off and back on. And you can see that's made a really, really gorgeous change to the big cat's eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and click out of this. I'm gonna go back to essentials here. We can go ahead and zoom out. And you can do that by just clicking on the screen or you can always go up to this menu here at the upper right and go back to fit to screen. It's another way to really control your zoom, see how close you wanna get in in detail. And now let's take a look at our visibility icon and turn this off and see where we started. And then there's the after. And you can see that we not only brought out some detail and color in the image overall, but we really got in there and enhanced the eyes. Now the reason I wanted to show you this is because if you were to go over to the portrait tools and into face AI, you'll notice that sometimes it does pop, and pop up and give you the option to edit eyes of animals with this tool, but it's not all the time and it's not gonna have the same impact that it does on human eyes. These tools are really tuned to get in there and work on human eyes and the results are hit and miss on animals. So I wanted to make sure you had some tools in your toolbox. So when you're out there photographing the wildlife around you in your yard, in your area, at the zoo, that you have some ways to go ahead and make those eyes look amazing. So let me go ahead again once more, show you the before and the after and pop over here to the comments, see if we have any questions today. Make sure if you have any questions for me as I'm going through the demo, make sure you put those into the comments. I'm always happy to try to answer anything that I can. And you can always put them into the comments after the fact. If you missed the live video and you're watching this as a recording, make sure you put the questions you have into the comments and we'll do our best to come back and answer all of those, either in the comments or even in a future episode. So if you're enjoying these sessions, make sure you hit the thumbs up and let us know so we can keep doing these for you. I hope you enjoyed this and learned a little something new. Get out there, make some photos and have some fun the rest of the day. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.